What's up everyone, my name is Chow. Welcome to Fatal Frame 2. Um, I've kind of been avoiding this one, I think, subconsciously for a couple months now. I mean, I've been meaning to do it, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it any sooner than now. <laughs> um, that's because I've heard that this one is the scariest Fatal Frame out of all of them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out right now. Let's get in there. Didn't we always promise each other that we would always be together? to play here all the time. Yeah. All of this will be gone soon. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It does a little bit. I'm fine. Mia? Yes? <laughs> Never mind. time back then. Mayu? Mayu! Where are you going? God damn it. I got tricked. The game tricked me. I was feeling kind of comfortable during that cutscene. Should have known better. Should have known better. Okay, if it wasn't obvious by now, this game will be playing as a pair of twins, I think? Miyu and Mayu? Um, Mayu, the other sister, has a messed up leg, and during that cutscene, I kind of it kind of explained why she has that messed up leg. It looks like it was a childhood accident. Sort of my fault. I feel kind of guilty, even though I'm just playing as Mio. I feel kind of guilty already. Mayu? A lost village. I 
I've heard about this place. A long time ago, there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. People who get lost in the woods are trapped by the village. Could this be that place? Wait, does that mean that you and I are trapped here? Does that mean that Mio and Mayu were lost in the forest? What the hell were we doing in the forest in the first place? I heard singing before, but there's nobody here. Ugh. Okay. The statue of guardian deities appears to be a carving of twins. Okay, there seems to be many statues just like this one throughout the village. Alright. Well, shit. We up created the uh, the locale from just a creepy mansion to an entire creepy village. A village that has some sort of ritual that has to do with twins. Great. What are we? A pair of twins. The rope bridges boards are old. It'd probably be dangerous to cross it without a light. You should probably find another path. Over there. It looks like a cemetery. <laughs> oh, well fuck that. Let's go back the other way. Mew, should we check out that village? Yeah, that's where we're going. Don't worry about it. We'll check it out plenty. Oh man, look at her. Aw, oh, that's so sad. Look at her walk. It's kind of slow and stuff. Aw. Oh, I feel really guilty even though I'm just playing a game. During that cutscene, it seems like, um, Mio might be feeling pretty guilty about what happened to her sister's leg. Childhood accident, but still. Can't help but feel a little guilty. Yeah, anyway, that's pretty much all I know about this game. Everything else is gonna be fresh as a daisy. There is something on the ground. A black bag. There are several pieces of paper and a photo inside. First is a news clipping. A news clipping from a year ago. The headline reads, Geological Surveyor Missing. With the start of construction for All Gods Dam approaching, Masumi Makimura, 26 years old, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area, has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard from for five days. Small news clipping. Seems like a follow-up to that other news clipping. The search for Masumi Makamura 26, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makamura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for All Gods Dam. As of yesterday, he's been missing for 10 days. Oh, so he's still missing. Okay, so it, the search came to a close, but with the conclusion that he was still missing, huh? They gave up on him. Okay, looks like a picture of a couple. I can view it by finding Who's file. This, I wonder. Who else is here? Just some guy. He's probably dead. Looks like a couple found in the bag at the village entrance. Um, I'm guessing that dude is the surveyor. I wonder who the lady is. I wonder if we're gonna run into her. He's probably still stuck in this village as a ghost. He's probably dead. And um... Wait. Oh, my bad. And uh, I don't know if we're- Oh god. You guys see that? Shit. Okay. Already starting. Okay. Well, I ain't going that way. I think that- Yep, there's a path this way. Let's go here. Fuck. I wonder if anyone's here. Mm. Oh shit. <laughs> Mia? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. I've only been- Oh! 
I've only been playing for a couple minutes. It's already begun. <sighs> okay. Okay. That was a that was a lot of information just now. Mew, don't go too far. Don't worry about it. We don't have a camera yet. They can't kill us. That would just be unfair. Woman's notebook one. A page torn from a notebook is near the sunken fireplace. I've heard rumors about the lost village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of the ceremony, and the village was wiped from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest lead lost people to the village entrance. Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. Alright. Yeah. The cutscene. Right, that lone woman, the the woman who kind of led us here to the village in the first place. So, the the girl in the photo that we found, this one right here, she was in that cutscene. She must have been looking for her boyfriend Masumi, and I think she got killed by his body. He might have been possessed by some ghost and and killed her. So they're probably both here gonna probably have to find out what happened to the two of them. I'm feeling kind of confident right now just because I don't have the camera yet and it'd be totally unfair to have ghosts come and kill me if fuck if I don't have the camera yet. Okay I can see a deck beyond the atrium. Wait cold wind blows in from the atrium. All right guess we gotta go there. What is in here? Whoa! Whoa! Oh god! Is it- UGH! Holy shit! It's a body! A torn notebook page that was stuffed into the bedding has fallen out. Someone, anyone, whoever sees these- Whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help. Miyako Sudo. Okay. Yeah, but someone's laying in it. Oh. There's a lump in the bedding as if there's something inside. Yee, <laughs> that's so creepy. Okay. The sliding door won't end open anymore. What's through here? Can I go through there? Okay, guess not. Okay. Well, I don't want to be in here anymore. It's kind of creepy. 
You don't know if that's gonna be a body in the future? Don't really want to find out. Okay. Um, before we go upstairs though, I want to check out the entire downstairs area. Is this open? The paper shade lamp is lit. There doesn't seem to be anything special in the closet. Hmm. You know what now? Oh, did I miss the? I must have missed the ghost. I didn't see anything over here, so maybe it was over here. Let's go up this way. Um, slide. Oh, this door is locked. Yeah, it seems like it's locked. Okay. Well, shit then. I don't know what that was earlier, but let's follow. Let's follow it. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just go. Fucking ham, dude. I don't even give a fuck. It's a bit cold. You know what that means. Either this place is haunted right now or there's an open window. Oh, it's an open window. <laughs> Woman's notebook number three. Masumi, it's me, Miyako. I came looking for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be nearby. I miss you. Oh, that's so sad. I wonder if anyone's really here. Stop talking like that. She's gonna be creepy, isn't she? Uh, I mean, she already got visions and shit. Maybe she's gonna start being really weird. I don't know. I can just sense it. I mean, she can't. We control Mio, right? Um, our sister's got a bad leg, so she can't run as fast as us. So, what does that kind of tell you? Come on. She's totally gonna get possessed, isn't she? Maybe we get possessed and then the control, like, the the sister that I control turns into my- Why? Fuck. Why? Anyway, maybe later on in the game we end up controlling Mayu and we can't run at all. That would be fucked up. I would not like that at all. Okay. Guessing the Something's strange about this place. Shit, okay. The music is going. What are we gonna find in here? There's something on the floor. Herbal medicine. So herbal medicine's here again. Different shaped jar though. From the first game. It might be nice. I don't know, we'll see. But it might be nice to to have company during my adventures inside this creepy village. During the first game I was all alone and got kind of lonely. Ooh! Seems like batteries are still good. Camera obscura pointers. An old book is underneath the flashlight. Okay. This camera was made by Dr. Aso to take photographs of beings in the spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. It can reveal events from the past through the lingering thoughts of individuals. It can also be able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a photo of an unseen being is an exorcismal effect, but simultaneously creates a sort of link with them. What? If the camera obscura is used carelessly, those beings may even gain the upper hand on its user. This is different. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of this village forbidden ritual. Huh. Alright. So, it's not the same as camera from the first game, huh? Oh, there it 
this. Basic camera operation. Uh, blah blah. Okay, raise with circle, and then X or R one. Okay, same same controls as the first game. All right. Um. Yeah, this is weird. This is different. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it's t oh, 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 Is she... Is she gonna... Is she not gonna move? Capture things that only people can't see with this camera. Yeah, that's the power of the camera. But this is different. I. The instructions said that if you use the camera improperly, it could be bad, right? The ghost could get the upper hand. And it also said that this camera, um, whenever you take a picture of the ghost, it creates some kind of, like, connection between you and the the ghost. That's. That's not what was up with the camera in the first game. Is it even the same thing? Anyway, let's uh, let's keep going. I don't know. I I thought I could like just pull this up and use it no problem, but I kind of feeling kind of rusty with the the camera controls in this game. They're just as wonky as I remember. There's a padlock engraved in the f with a family crest representing Ginger on the door. Wait, what are you looking at? Oh, sorry. Wait, was she looking at something? No? Okay. Guys, you're so weird. <laughs> What's up? Something. Go Someone's here. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Ah. Oh. I. Yo, yo, man, you're being weird. Someone's near, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Are you, oh, she's probably just gonna tell.
tell me that somebody's near again. Oh, maybe she's warning me about ghosts in the room? Is that right? Could that be it?